What's up, guitar fanatics? My name is Jeff Coleman. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, the tune I was playing there is called Hop to Trot, written by Jason Sidwell. And I want to thank you, Jason, so much for writing such a cool tune. But challenging, to say the least. Um, the tune starts out with a B-flat, six chord. And then the five chord A. Richie Butt one. And then it resolves, instead of the D minor, it resolves up to F minor, and that leads us to a little challenge there. For the purposes of teaching, I'm plugged into my G deck, trusted G deck amp with the looper, so I can kind of loop the changes. Um, so resolving to F minor, I got to think about the key, because there's a Quite a bit of difference there going from A down to F minor. You would normally resolve to D minor, but that's the next chord. So the verse is F minor to D minor. Okay, so let me loop that. Over the F minor, I might play melodic minor. And the cool thing about that is I'm getting more notes of the, that's relative to the D minor, uh, D Dorian scale. So F minor, I've got F, G, A flat, B flat, C, D, E, F, and then D minor or D Dorian, D, E, F, G, A, B. So you want to think about continuity. If I play a phrase like over the F, how can I change that to fit the D minor? So A flat becomes A over the D. So there's these kind of guide tones um, that you kind of glue the chord changes together with. Let me try this once, so. tones, not just thinking about patterns, like we know we can go. That's cool, but what happens is it's kind of segregated. So you have an idea and then you move to a different position to get the changes out. So it's tricky. So you want to kind of visualize the scales. Um, the next section, let me play a loop here. So it's a G major seven. Oops, sorry, <laughs> wrong button. through the whole bridge. C major 7 to E. Okay, 
So we're going to play G. I remember what I did here. I had a cool, um, I was thinking about Alex Lifeson, you know, using, utilizing the open strings. So over the G, I was playing just G major scale. And over the E, I played a sharp 11. So E major with a um, sharp 4 or sharp 11. So E, F sharp, G sharp, A sharp. You could play um, D sharp minor pentatonic with that E. Let me go to a cleaner sound, you can hear it. I'm trying to hold the string while I play it. And then over the C chord, we can play E minor pentatonic. And then E major pentatonic. Okay? Let me try that one more time. Here we go. section it plays uh, B half diminished so it's like a D minor with a B in the bass and then B flat to A so over those changes um, it's kind of like the intro but one extra chord I'm playing a B locriate and then B flat, then to A. Over the A, I'm playing D harmonic minor. You can make a lesson out of one simple set of changes, okay? Anyway, that'll give you a lot to cover. I know I have to keep it around six or seven minutes, so uh, good luck. Best of luck to you, and visualize that fretboard. Stop looking at patterns. Start thinking about notes. All right, cheers.